Hey, I have a question. Yeah? So this Joey guy... Yeah? I've seen him on YouTube before, and there are videos of him playing the ukulele and singing words that sound a lot like your poems. I know, he totally plagiarized me. He's terrible. <laughs> so he just, like, takes your poems off the internet and sings them? Yeah, like... He, he got a free ukulele and he thinks that's licensed to just take all of my words and play shit. ukulele with them. Somebody gave him a free ukulele and he's like, I need more free shit. How about these words? <laughs> you, give, you give a guy a ukulele and suddenly he wants everything. Jesus. So you put all these poems for free on your website. Yeah. That's Under, pretty crazy, uh, too. I, I know. I mean, I shouldn't have used the Creative Commons license. Now he thinks that he's allowed to take them and sing them. So how did you feel when you first saw one of these poems getting sung? Did it sting? A little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I saw that his video only had, like, three views, so I just I just felt warm and fuzzy inside. Like, I just got a new Lego set. Wait a minute. Only three views? That's, like, a lot for me. That's... <laughs> What? Well, how many? Maybe for maybe for you. How many total views do your videos have? <laughs> a couple of million. I mean, not each one. There's only one that has. A Wait, you have a, you have a YouTube channel with millions of views? Yeah, I mean, not of my own work. Like, I have videos of my poems on my YouTube channel, but mostly the videos of concerts are are the ones that um that actually get the views. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And this is like, uh, how many videos are we talking about? Uh, I think I'm up to about 2,400. <laughs> so you go to concerts, you video the concerts. So you're stealing shit, too. Yeah, pretty much, but I ask permission. You're going red in the face right now. By the way, is my camera recording right now? Good. <laughs> you should upload a I'm video. A lot of as your cover video for YouTube is just you pointing at the camera going, is this recording? <laughs> I, I, have, I have video. a video. Like all the views. I have all a video views. of Jonathan Colton pointing at my camera and saying, this is a violation of my copyright. Who's Jonathan Colton? Oh, he's just this guy. He used to, he used to write software for a living, but he, I guess he wasn't any good at it, so he quit and started writing songs. And Now he runs a fan cruise every year, and they give out free ukuleles to people who think they should get free words and stuff. So this is where you met Joey, on a fan cruise? Yeah. Wow. Um, now, what's with all these programmers becoming musicians and poets and stuff? Why? How does how do you go from writing code to writing a song called Code Monkey? Well, in Jonathan Colton's case, uh, he had a music degree from Yale, so it's kind of a cheat. It's not like he had been writing songs in his spare time, and he was actually qualified to do programming. He was just a programmer in his spare time, and he happened to get a job doing that for nine years. But then he finally quit and decided to use his actual education. So do you think you'll ever quit writing software? To do poetry full time? Well, technically, since my degrees are in maths and linguistics, I should quit writing software to do maths and linguistics. But whoever wants somebody to do maths and linguistics, I don't know. I we would we would that. like you to keep doing Jeez. those things and keep coming to the open stage. That's for sure. Okay. And now bring this Joey uh, thief on on board. <laughs> okay. And let's see how well he has stolen your words. Careful, otherwise he'll steal your heart too. Hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. You guys should switch microphones. Because oh. she's shorter. Hi, Phil. Hey, what's up? Hello. I'm fine. How are you? Good. How was your radio t thing? Pretty what, awesome. What is it like going to Austria and then hearing yourself on the radio the next day? <laughs> Very uh, um, surreal. You know what's really funny about that laugh? I had to cut all those out of your... Um, <laughs> so every time you hear yourself laugh, you'll notice it's quieter. <laughs> because I've deleted your microphone. Because <laughs> it was so loud. One of the first ones we recorded, he did that to me too. But So we are in the same boat here, brother. I know what it feels like. 
but I think your laugh is way cuter than mine. I sound like a dying, I don't know, donkey or something. No. Oh, I, I challenge you to a laugh off after the show. <laughs> it's like a dance off, except the can microphone is on YouTube. Bring it on. You can film Bring it on. <laughs> on okay, guys. Um, I am. I, I would like the audience to enjoy the art and not just enjoy Phil talking. So I'm going to shut up now. Let you guys do your thing. I, can I move this to, to my ukulele? Oh, right. Let's do this. Oh, you don't need to do that for the ukulele. Oh, no, it's fine. Big enough if it gets in the microphone. Oh. I love your body. Okay, I was wrong. You were wrong? Yeah. It Usually it works. I see people put the microphone halfway between themselves and the ukulele, and it works. I'm just too tall, so halfway between it is, is not. So how are we going to do this with two mics? I'll give uh, Angela my mic when it's her turn to sing. Oh, you're a very smart man. So just the whole thing move over. There we go. Gray sweater guy. Oh, I thought he was going to help. Nope, he's gone. Back yeah, yeah. Yep. Come back and move that microphone stand to the right. Yes. There you go. Yes. Amazing. Look at that. Teamwork. Well, you guys are getting complicated now. <gasps> okay. This is uh, a poem that Angela wrote in the style of various... I love your body songs that most of which are of the form I love your body it has a comfortable place for me to place my genitals others are of the form your body is awesome because it is not awesome and this is somewhere in the middle it is verse one is about not treating your body like a piece of meat and verse two is about treating your body like a piece of meat yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called I Love Your Body. I love your body The way it keeps you alive The way it lets me touch you The way it lets us communicate The way it gives you pleasant sensations don't love its flaws The way it hurts you The way it makes you sick The way it makes you tired The way it can't do the things that you want it to But I love that you have it So that I can have you Brings need energy, and there's no ESP that would show you to me. I love your body. I hope it takes care of you and you of it for a love filled lifetime. I love your body. like silk, the way it looks good naked, the way it smells like your perfume, the way it tastes so good in a casserole. I don't love its flaws, the way its flesh resists my life.
with a love filled belly. Wow. I think that was one of the nicest moments we've ever had at Open Phil, believe it or not. Aww. I guess we want to hear that song again. One more.